Hello everyone, this is NC Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own deck for tabletop simulator in general, but this will work for Duels of the Roses style for any of you familiar with my videos. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is of course download tabletop simulator and the Duels of the Roses style mod. Sounds pretty easy, doesn't it? Then you're going to want to also in the download through the link I provided in the description one of the many variety of images for YGO Pro. These are HD images. I recommend them. I didn't use them in this video because I don't I couldn't pick through them and I wasn't able to download the right one um, for what I need. Anyways, for once you have the images figured out, you're going to want to go into the file for you're going to want to build a deck through YGO Pro or Dev Pro depending on which one you use. Or if you made them with Tabletop Simulator, you can skip some of these steps. But if you didn't use I mean, sorry, if you use like um Yu-Gi-Oh card maker, you could skip this step. You're going to want to use a program called the and this is also provided in the link down below deck to picture converter what it does is you go into the image path into the there's the one where the pictures are kept for YGO Pro or Dev Pro it's the same it's called Pix and then there's the the one where you find the YDK file which is the deck that you want to put once that's all done once you have that into a folder you're going to want to wherever you kept the uh, deck to picture converter there will be a WinRAR file of the images you just extracted from there all labeled by numerical order going from 1 to in this case 43 and then you'll get something like this depending on the order you did it in and then once that's one with TTS which stands for tabletop simulator deck editor you're going to want to then add through this with this is the you could have skipped the other step if you have um, Yu-Gi-Oh card maker or TCG editor or any other similar program. You'd highlight all these programs, and then once you do that, you you'd go into here and click export, and you'd get a master file, which would be all the sum of what you you have imported, and then you would be able to go into you would be able to then go into Imager. Through Imager, you would find, you would upload the file, like so, it would be in your uploaded files. You would then, accordingly, go into here, go to View Image, go here, and then once you've taken the link, you're going to want to go into this and either go to custom and then click deck or go into cards and then click custom it doesn't matter it's pretty much the same you're gonna go here you're gonna pick the back images and there's various different back images I have but I'm gonna use the one for the color manga back of the image you're gonna want to make sure the number matches the total number of cards so say you had a full extra deck and side deck that's gonna amount to about 70 and then you're gonna wanna click import once it finishes loading it'll have the image that you had like so then you're gonna wanna separate the extra deck if there is one And you're gonna probably, this is optional, you can label it like this. And go over here and then label this accordingly. Then you're gonna want to go into tools and grab yourself a bag. This is optional. You can edit the color of the bag by going here.
and you're going to add you can add it into the bag and then all you got to do after you've finished editing and doing all that you click save to chest and once it's in saved objects you can spawn it at any time and extract the contents of it by using search remember you always want to click cloud for these decks for the images the reason you want it to be a clouded image is because it'll render on both sides so your opponent will be able to see whatever front and back of the deck you have that's why you have to have an imager link then once your deck is ready you gotta make sure you shuffle it you can manually shuffle by clicking on shuffle here <clears throat> or you can just click on the deck and press R multiple times until it's shuffled then you're gonna to want to rest your deck into the appropriate zone you're gonna to want to rest your extra deck into the appropriate zone and you can start your game that's pretty much the step-by-step -step process on how you know you start I'll take it from the top just for the end of the video you start with downloading of course tabletop simulator and the DOR mod links of all are provided in the description you then use the deck to picture converter as I showed you before it's this file again that all comes with the links in the description then after you've made that into it, it automatically makes it into a WinRAR file you extract the contents into a convenient folder and then you go here and add all the cards make it into an imager link then grab the imager link directly to the PNG file pick custom deck pick a back for the deck make sure you click cloud pick a number of cards spawn the deck and then you should be done that is pretty much the step-by-step -step process to any custom deck for tabletop simulator this has been NC Lord I hope my video was helpful